Hi, I'm Jay Thomas, and welcome to this week's edition of Hot Rod Hangout, where we take a look at what's new in the showroom at Rod's Hot Rods on Faithful Avenue. We had one heck of a weekend, Rod. This was the big one. It was busy, lots of fun. <laughs> yeah, a whole bunch of people through the door on your big open house on Saturday, yeah. and sort of a show, local show and shine here. The Rock 102 was on location. Yeah, we had lots of fun with Shaq. And, yeah. Uh, Lots of people from out of town, like lots of people doing the Cross Canada tour. Yes. Um, nice to see some really cool stuff and some different stuff. We got a hot dog cart out, and that was a pretty good hit. <laughs> well, not to mention your parking lot was almost full almost all the time. Yeah, it was. Yeah. There was almost no place to it go, but yeah. awesome. And uh, hopefully you had fun. Maybe we saw you down at uh, the Show and Shine on Sunday, or maybe 8th Street on Saturday night, but... Uh, maybe Rock the River. It was oh, awesome. Oh yeah, you went to Rock the River. Awesome. It's like your best concert ever. Well, not ever. It was oh. lots of fun, though. Good. Okay, let's take a look at what's new here. We've got how many cars to look at today? Okay, new ones today. New we ones have today. one, two, three, four, five, five new ones. Five and new one ones. on the back thing. So five new ones. Okay, we'll start with that. And then we should start with actually that this GTX we're in front of right now is hitting the highway, isn't it? Made a deal on this one yesterday, yep. You know, That's the, cool. Uh, as soon as we get some cars moved around, she'll be hitting the highway. This is beautiful. Man, oh man, I can't get over it. And it does have the original wheels and stuff like that that come with it. Yeah, too, there's a whole truckload of parts to go with it. <laughs> Four speed. Yeah, I'll nice. up some space. Yeah, exactly. Because that's that's a pretty big car, you know, when you look at it. It's nice up here for the uh, oh, our yeah. show on the weekend. It, it showed very well. It's got lots of color to it. Okay, let's go back here and start with our first one. This one right is. here. Keep in mind, we've been so busy this last week, we haven't really had time to to get the polisher on some of this stuff. But I'll go through it quick. 1980 Trans Am. I know we mentioned this in the previous video. Yeah, we've talked about it before. Yeah. This is an, an original paint, original car, untouched, original, 68,000 kilometers with all the documentation. So it's a Canadian car. Yep. That sticker, that's the original sticker that rolled out of the factory in the showroom with yeah. it on. Original paint. Original paint. I original love wheels. the snowflake wheels. Those are fantastic. The look velour at that. interior. Velour, crushed red velour. But really amazing condition. Floor mats. Again, you know, for being original. Tack on the dash. Yeah, and oh, for being original, it's, it's amazing. It's fantastic. You know, a lot of those dashboards get kind of cruddy looking too. A lot of them, yeah. Yeah, they don't look so great. And this that one, disco goes away. It, uh, yeah, that, that pattern. The, the luster just goes. It just, it falls away. It sits yeah. in the sun. They look like kind of junk after a while. This one looks incredible. All the documentation, do you like the uh, original build sheet, which is you hardly ever see on these cars. No, just about never. Original bill of sale, all the warranty cards, it gets... Wow. Yeah, these, That's are, fantastic. these are nice when they come fully documented. There's no question that the kilometers are what they are. So it's, give us a little timeline history. We got square headlights in the front of this guy. Well, 80 and 80, 79 to 81 are very, very similar with this nose cone, right? Okay. Everyone thinks of the bird and they think of uh, smoking the matter. But okay. this is not a smoky car. Well, the, yeah. It, it's, a, this, it's a Trans Am, yeah. But they did a smoky car in 1980. That's, uh, that's smoking the matter too was from a 1980 Trans Am. Oh yeah, okay, I wasn't thinking that. Yeah, so okay. So this, this is not a real Y84 uh, gold bird Trans Am. That's really the only difference, is, is just the bird. Okay. And then the codes that are on the on the firewall. But the 77, 78, that's what people remember as the, the original Smokey and the Matic. Right, because it actually had a grill in here. Yeah, well, was the, 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 like this that, was all right? kind of open more. Yeah, honeycomb grill sort of yeah. thing in there with the gold. That was the 77, 78. Okay. And this style started at 79. Right, and moved into that. Yep. Very cool. Otherwise, it's the same car. Yeah, oh, for sure, for sure. Just, just, just a few, ch a few and the, changes and the rear, here and there. The rear's a bit different, too, with the big bumper. But yeah, yeah. Anyway. Oh, that's cool. Cool car. Very nice car. And it's going to get polished yet. It hasn't yeah. yet. You probably can't tell in the video, it's, but it's original paint, and when it's going to get polished by Gary, well, it's going to look spectacular. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be really amazing. Good. Where should we go to next? Well, let's do this one. We talked about this car. Yeah. And we talked about doing like a rendering of it. So Bruce came in the other day and these are all just, this is all uh, paper cut out just to, and they're stuck on with tape just to get the feel of it and, <laughs> and get the sizing. Poison dart. I love it. So this is kind of where we're going with the car. You know, I, it really changes the look of the car. I think it, I think it does. And we're not done. There'll be more on the, on the front of the hood. There'll be a little, the poison dart will be on there. Oh yeah. Um, your drag racing class will be on the front windshield and the back windshield and there'll be something little small on the back but 
it's a work in progress. Yeah, there's the there's the rendering that's up there, but there it is actually in person, actually happening. And that's yeah. that's cool. I I like it. I think it looks rather than just guessing, this is a good way of doing it. This is just all printed just in paper. So we can get a get it sized correctly. Yep. And uh, like the door and on that rendering, this door now is actually fifteen percent larger than what the rendering was. Oh, okay, because so, it just fits better. It looks, it yeah, fills well, the door out more, and that's it. Here's the one that's smaller that we tried. Yep. So he printed one 15% bigger, and that's the one that we like better. It fills the door out a little yeah, bit Yeah, why not? Yeah. Awesome. So, still, that's a spectacular car, and it's going to be even cooler when the, all the decals go on still for real. Still got to get Darren from Rolling Steel to get the back rims rolling. I contacted him, but he's pretty busy, so I'm going to yeah, try and... Yeah, he's a busy guy right we're now. We're going to try and uh, sneak it in to, to get those fitted up, so... He got my winter wheels done. I got to go pick him up here right away. How'd you get in? I got connections, man. Well, get me in. <laughs> <laughs> Darren's going to watch this video. Yeah. Like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Which um, winner? Well, how about right, oh, right here, right where beside it? Green machine. This is this, a triple green. Oh, this is awesome. 69 GTO. We haven't had very many GTOs in this year. No. And this is a 69, one of the most sought after years. We had the judge a few weeks ago. That's right. a month ago. We didn't even get to see it. It went, came and went so fast, we didn't even get to do a video well, on it. I seen it. But, yeah, you saw it, sure. But the camera didn't see no, it. No, <laughs> that's right. Look at this. Again, Look at this interior. This is going to need a polish and a, you know, some. But that is spectacular. That. It's so, in really good shape. Factory tack, tilt wheel. Let's see if I can get that factory tack. It's hiding way over there on the side. But I mean, there's no cracks in the dash. This is a very original car. So like the motor has never been out of this car. And you could tell when you, when you pop the hood, it looks like original. Like well, there's, let's, there's let's, been can no, we do it? There's been no lipstick added to this one. Yeah. You know, the fact that it's got green vinyl on the top and a green vinyl, oh. you just, you never see, almost never see a triple green car, especially in a, in a, a muscle car, if you want to call it that, right? It just sounds cool saying triple green. And I love the hideaway headlights. And they work. Oh, awesome. So very original. Oh yeah. Did they come with a chrome valve cover? Well, this one does. <laughs> I guess so. That's like, awesome. We have to kind of go through and, and, and make up our mind if we're going to freshen up, you know, and detail the engine bay, or do we keep it like the original, or what are we going to do with it? I'm not too sure yet. Yeah. It's a very original car as it sits. Very original car, so. I like the dual snout air yeah. cleaner. That's pretty cool. You know, power steering, power brakes. So that's, it's gonna be nice to drive. You know, yeah. that's great. And all the, the people that are the uh, Pontiac gurus, this is a real 242 VIN. So that's, that's what tells you that it's a GTO. I like the, I like the red line tires and Colors, it's, almost, it's just such a good color for this car, you know? It's almost the same car we sold to the Kinsman a few years ago for the raffle. Oh yeah, okay. That was 1970 though, it was a four speed, but it was a green on green car also. Console, buckets, it's a nice shape. And again, just wait till the polisher goes on it. In fact, Gary was here doing a polishing during the open house on the weekend. You can see that line right there. I pointed out right there. So he, he had taped off half the trunk. Look how nice it looks once it's polished. You know, get rid of all that halo and everything like that that's in there. He's going to finish the whole yep. thing and it'll just be... Well, he opened up a can of worms. Yeah. So now he's got to finish no, it. No, he does have to finish it. Yeah. It's going to be amazing when it's complete. Wow. Even it feels... Which way you want to go? Uh, let's do this one. Okay. One of my all-time favorite cars from my era. Um... Well, just, let's well, I mean, I mean, it's the body style. You would take any car in this body style. In fact, it's related to that one right over there. Yeah, it's kind of the same. Right. I mean, that. any car that's the same that, air as those. It's, I think it's called. Is it a G body? Yeah. Yes. It's right. A G body. And anything in the G body, anybody who kind of grew up in the '80s, just loves them. It's like one of the ultimate G bodies. Except this, this, it is the ultimate G body. Well, there's one more step above it. You think so? Yes, I'll tell you why. Okay. So here we go. '87. '87, Grand National. T-top. Now the special thing about this car is that it's original. It's what? Been it's been painted once. Wow. But the engine, I mean, is like original. Not touched, not modified, not, you know, uh, most of these cars have been modded. Now, American Racing Wheels. Okay, we have the factory 
wheels that are at my house. Wow. Don't worry, everybody. <laughs> Those are super rare. Well, they are. That's why I'm asking, because yeah. even I know, you know, from my limited knowledge of Grand Nationals, you got to have the wheels, the and correct wheels. And have the original center caps, too. Right. There it is. The, the spooling turbo on the headrests. Even the headliner's not falling down. Oh. See if I can get my camera to go up. Well, those, there. that's T tops, but the headliner only has the, a half headliner. Only half a headliner, but most of them, the GMs from yeah. 1980s. The headliners were all down, and the clear coat was always peeling. So, so a friend of mine had a car from the 80s, a GM car. It was a POS, but headliner started to flap in the wind as we were driving. I just reached back and went, I ripped the whole thing down, and all that little foam. Oh, you it was could, like, everywhere. It was everywhere, but you it's could like, oh. you could take and like you could write messages in the yeah. foam, and it would just. Yeah, now we have a lot of fun with that. We have a brand new headliner for the 2 Plus 2 that just came in. And now they put it on like a ABS plastic backing, so there's no more foam anymore. Oh, okay. So it's a way different process now. Look at that. As I went, remember I was saying that this is almost the ultimate G-Body? Okay, so what's the ultimate G-Body? Well, it's this same car, but it's the GNX version of this car. So there's one above this, the Grand National. Oh. It's a GNX. It has the honeycomb black wheels as factory. Yes, okay. They're super rare, they're super sought after, and they're super expensive. Now that you say that, I understand what you're talking about. Still, this is pretty amazing. A guy that uh, we went to high school and uh, he had a brand new one. A GNX. Yeah, GNX brand new in Saskatoon. Here. Wow. He was obviously a little bit older than us, <laughs> but he had one brand new. We were so jealous of that. Amazing, but this like original, original powertrain. That's that's what got me on the car. Yeah, lower kilometers got one hundred and thirty thousand kilometers. Um, yeah, that's that's really great. Yep. Yeah. Now, it's a it's a six, right? It's a V six. V six turbocharged. Let's see if we can pop the trunk or the hood. This car is uh, it's <laughs> it's pretty quick car. You think six cylinder, right? But and you hear people talking about these cars being, you know, they're they're pretty quick. It's a pretty quick car. Yeah. Like, I was surprised. Well, and there's the, <laughs> there's the cover on it. <laughs> yeah. So obviously someone's changed like the plug wires, like your, like your general maintenance. Sure. There again, my pet peeve, people, they make black spark plug wires. <laughs> We're not in the 80s anymore here. We, we get this. They make black ones. <laughs> they make black ones. <laughs> I don't know why I just, you know, didn't do all the blue loom and everything else. Did we? <laughs> so we just had the AC kidding. worked on. Yeah. Um, we had it all retrofitted to the new, um, the new system. I it was still R12. Yeah. Wow. So it blows cold now. That's awesome. Had to re replace a bunch of hoses and, but uh, you can't have a, a black car plus 30 without the AC working. Cool. Is it a, it's not, it's funny, it's turbocharged but it is throttle body injected, right? That's the early... Like it's not multi-port injection, fuel injection, it's, no. it's throttle body injected. It's I don't know, I wonder, I don't know. Somebody has to comment, is it one or two injectors or more than one injector or is it just a single injector? I don't know. But. I've had a few of these cars in the past, not in the last year, but that's been a problem. We've had to replace parts to, you know, for to run. Yep. This one runs good, so. Amazing. Obviously somebody's done like a recent tune-up on it. I love it. It's fantastic. This one just came in, the next mm, one. Here we go. Ho, ho, ho. And uh, it's pretty nice car. Actually, my dad had this car out on 8th Street. Well, he took it home Friday night. This, this car came in Friday night. My dad drove it home. He drove it here to have it here for the day Saturday yep. for a car show. He drove it to 8th Street Saturday night. He had it all day Sunday. He didn't bring it back until yesterday. <laughs> so I guess he liked it. He liked it. Awesome. Good color combination. Sort of a burnt orange and, yeah, black, and black is pretty handsome. And 1956, we didn't mention that. Yeah, it's a 56. 56, uh, 210, and it's a Del Rey. A Del Rey. So Del Rey, that's, what, like a, that's a trim option. A trim option, yeah. What did it get you, do you know? Or is it just Well, there's like, they had different seats, different door panels, a little, uh, like this is all obviously custom now. Yes. But, the, but I know that the Del Rey interior was different than the just your 210 or your Bel Air. Or they all had different uh, cool different interiors. It's got some new gauges in it, you know, a newer stereo. So is it riding on its original platform still? Well, there's been a lot of modifications. Okay. To the, it's got the original frame. 
It's not like an S10 chassis or something underneath no, this. No, it's got tubular control arms and like it's got, it has a whole program that way. Right. Uh, 5.7 uh, uh, tune port, 700R, disc brakes, like all the usual yeah, everything, stuff. Everything to make it a good driver. Oh wow, look at that, yeah. And chromed up nicely too. Cool. Yeah, you can see your tubular control arms and all your usual stuff. There yeah, again, we have down there, you can see. My dad's been driving it. We never, we never had it for more than 10 minutes to even wash the engine base. So. <laughs> it will get done before it goes home to somebody. Yeah. <laughs> but we, had a, we had a couple of people in looking at it today, so never know. It may, never know, but it's very nice. Chance. Paint's nice, you know. Nice stance, the stance. It's hard to see in the video, the stance is good. It is, yeah, it is hard to get a, a feel for that, but it's lowered nicely yeah, and it sits. Chrome's nice. Sits there quite this nicely. This actually drove, uh, when we did the deal on this car, the deal was that he was going to drive it to the to the shop here. Mm -hmm. I believe this car drove about eight or eight plus hours. Wow. To get here. There was enough bugs on this thing to cover every car on this whole show. <laughs> and interesting that the there's a actually a fifth or a third brake light Frenched in yep. to the back, which is which is sort of neat. It's going to get a polishing. Got to show them. Oh, the classic 56. Yeah, all right there. That's your fuel filler. Out of the 567s, I love the 567s, but the 56 is my favorite out of all three years. I know it's the least popular out of all three years, but I like it because of that fact, because it's not as popular. And I had one years ago. I had a 56 and I kept it for, God, I don't know, five or six years. I, and red and white, I remember really? the car, and I sold it reluctantly, and I haven't had one since, so this is... I got to say that 57 is my year. Yep. Just the fins, the bit of trim that goes with the fins that's in there, and the, the Dagmars, the Marilyn Monroe's up in the front, you know, I. It just, yeah, Everyone's it's got their own, uh, yep. for their own reasons, I guess. Totally, totally. Okay, so what are we looking at coming up? Oh, we oh, got we one got, more. What am I talking more. about? Yeah, hopefully we don't get locked out. This is what I'm driving today. It's a little dirty. <laughs> I it got on. caught in the rain. It's a 2000 GMC, one ton. Now, what's special about this truck, this is a factory short box dually. Look at that. Like That's what, does that come from the factory? That, that I, I actually think it kind of looks- It's different. Different, because I'm not used to seeing them look like that at all. But it's a factory short box dually. It's got some spray and bed liner. The paint is yeah, it's is incredible oof. paint on. It's all 3M'd. New Big wheels, new tires, all new lighting package, loading lights, strobe lights, cowl induction hood, leather interior. Yeah. Uh, the nice, uh, the nice stainless boards. There's LED lights underneath the boards. There's like. You gotta, you know, even even excluding the sort of accessories that are on it, okay, you still gotta like order this truck, especially this way from factory. Yeah. Because most of these that were dualies like this at the time were work trucks. And long boxes. And long boxes trucks, yeah. and you know that all that jazz. So to have one, is it four by four though? It's four by four. It's four by four. So four yep. by four with all those options and the leather, yep. that was definitely somebody, somebody picked, hand picked the options for this truck, yep. no it doubt. Was, uh, and with the leather interior and, but there's even with all your, your, your smoked out uh, um, lights and your headlights, it just, it's just a, a pleasure driving this truck. It's awesome. It's as nice as they come for this era. That's cool. And it's a 454 gas, gonna mention that. Oh yeah, heavy duty. It's been okay on gas so far. It hasn't been too bad. Hey, there's some sold stuff over there. Yeah, I sold my big boy toy. Your big boy toy, the... Freightliner. The Freightliner, the one on the very end, that's gone, right? Wow. Oh, we got Mater 2s on the deck. Mater 2 is leaving. Leaving tomorrow morning. Gosh, look at that. Things are moving quickly here. Holy smoke, it's too hot. Let's go inside. Yeah. I'll get I'll your rod. First. I'll go first. Yeah. What are we going to see coming up here shortly? Where should we stand? In front of your favorite, just pick one. Well, this is pretty cool. I like this Let's one. See that? Okay, what do we got coming? Okay, uh, we had a '70 Roadrunner a few months ago. It was yep. a B5 Blue, nice, nice car. We got that coming back on trade. So wow! I was pretty happy to get that one coming back. So it'll it's, be here in a few days. It's gonna be available again. And another cool one. You know that I sold my C8 Corvette. Yes. I got another one coming tomorrow. No way! I got a red. 2022 convertible Corvette coming in tomorrow. What? They're, they're in, almost impossible to get. We, we have one. Holy smoke. And it's, and it's for sale. Um, a nice dart. You know how many darts we've had? 
Okay. Double darts. We're always. The dart kings. Yeah. Um, this is probably up there as one of the nicest ones that we've had. Most documentations, three build sheets, 70 dart, 340, numbers matching. And the FC color? FC7. Plum crazy purple. Plum crazy purple dart. White stripe, black interior, oh, automatic, man. buckets console, factory tack, on run. Nice car. Yeah. That'll be here later tomorrow. Sweet. And we got a 38 uh, Ford sedan hot rod coming. Looks very similar to the black 40. Yep. But it's a 38. Cool. Not pro street, just a hot rod. That'll be cool. And, uh, and still lots across the street we haven't talked about yet, but don't even mentioning it until we get it back over here or we mosey on someday over across the street and yeah, have a look. Yeah, exactly. But we do have lots of the stuff we haven't even seen yet. So uh, that's what's for sure anyway. Awesome. Okay, well, if you saw something you liked in this video, something we talked about, make sure you head to rodshotrods.ca. And there's still some summer left, right? Lots of summer left. Exactly. That, lots of time left. So we'll get out there on the streets some more. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time on Hot Rod Hangout.